hello students uh, welcome to the channel top gate today we will discuss uh, one question of uh, designing a pda to design a pda for a language l is equal to a to the power m b to the power n c to the power m plus n where the value of m and n is greater than equal to 0 okay so uh, we did uh, one similar kind of question previously in the previous uh, videos uh, that was uh, design a pda for l is equal to a to the power m plus n b to the power m c to the power n but the value of m and n was greater than 0 in that case okay so uh, here we have 0 also okay so first of all we will see that uh, what kind of strings are possible in this uh, particular language and then i uh, will design a pda for all those strings okay so first of all uh, that is uh, in this one we have number of a's and b's and c's in this one okay so uh, if we take the value of m is greater than 0 and n is greater than 0 okay so in this case w will be suppose if we take the value of m and n as 2 then w will be a a b b and c will be the addition of a and b that is c c c c okay so if m is more than 0 n is more than 0 then we'll get this kind of string so we need to design a pda that should accept this string also okay now if we take the value of m as greater than 0 and n is equal to 0 then the string that we will get will be it will be like if we take the value of m as 2 then we will get a a that is two a's and then b is n is 0 so we will get no b's here and then c will be m plus n that is 0 plus 2 is 2 so we will get two c's so we should design a period that should accept this string also now the third case is uh, if value of m is equal to 0 n is greater than 0 then the string that we will get will be m is 0 so we will not be having any a in this one the string starts with b that is if we take n is equal to 2 then we will get b b and c c so that is 0 plus 2 that is 2 fine so we are getting b b and c c and the final case the last one that is if the value of m is equal to 0 and n is also is equal to 0 then the string that we will get will be i mean there will be no a's there will be no b's and since there is no a and no b so we'll get 0 plus 0 that is c also 0 that is we'll get null here or epsilon okay so we need to design a pda that should accept all these kind of string that is it should accept this one also it should accept this one also this one also or this one also okay so i will design a pda for this one first and then we'll move on to this one complete this one then we'll complete this one then we'll complete this one so in one pda i'll try to incorporate all these strings okay so uh, let's start doing this so first of all if you analyze this one that is the first one that is if we go normally like uh, there is no i mean the value of m and n is greater than zero if we go normally so we'll get this kind of strings so what are we seeing in this one that is in this string we need to make sure that number of c's should be equal to the addition of number of a's and b's okay so how many uh, the number of a's and b's will be there c will be exactly equal to the addition of a's and b's so if we are getting two a's and two b's that is equal to four so we'll get four c's here so the logic says that uh, since we need to make sure that this c should be equal to this part of the string so what we'll do uh, as when the first a comes we will push it into the stack second a comes we will push it third then b comes we'll push it fourth then b comes we'll push it so now we have four elements into the stack okay now as soon as the first c comes what we'll do we will pop this element out second c pop this one third c pop this one fourth c pop this one so ultimately we for every c we have popped out every element from the stack and finally the string is ended the z naught is left and we are done okay now in this one the same logic that is for a will push all the elements in stack for c will pop out the a's similarly in this one that is for b we will push the elements for c we will pop the elements okay and this is for null we'll discuss this later on okay so first of all let's uh, start the, the first one that is uh, take the string as uh, 
this one take the input tape here and in the input tape we have a a b b c c c c followed by epsilon and the pointer is currently on the first a okay so we'll start uh, doing it so this is the initial stage first of all so we are going for this one and i will uh, make a stack here okay i'll make a stack in stack we have z not first of all okay so the element first of all is a the first element is a and the, what we discussed previously that when the a comes we have to push it into the stack so first a comes we have to push it so what i'm doing because we are getting several a's here so i will take a self loop here that is the elementary process is a the topmost element in stack is that is z naught and what do we do we simply push it into the stack so what we get here a z naught so we have pushed a into the stack okay now again the next day comes that is the pointer now moves to this one that is the second day now second day comes for second day this transition will not work so i have to take one more transition that is the element to process is a and the top stack element now is a it is not z dot now it is a so we'll write a here and what are we doing we are pushing it so we'll push it and what will we get here we'll get double a and this next a will get into the pushed into the stack and the pointer will now move on to the first b the next element okay now the next element comes what do we do for the next element we again have to push this element into the stack so what we'll do the next element comes okay so next element the element to process is b and the topmost element in stack is a we have so i'll write a here and what do we do we have to again push it so i'll push it i'll write b a here and b is pushed here and the pointer will now move on to the next b okay and we reach on some some other state say q1 and now next b comes now here several b's come can, can come okay so i'll take a self loop for this b that is the elementary process is b the top stack element is right now we have b here okay the topmost element is b and what are we doing we are pushing it into the stack so next element is again pushed and the pointer now moves into on to the next c okay now what the logic says we have to push a's and b's in the stack and for every c we have to pop the b's first and pop the a's second okay so now c comes now so for c i'll take another move and i'll write the elementary process is c okay now the top stack element here is b so first of all we have to pop the b's so the topmost element is b and what do we do we simply pop it out and we reach on to some other state say q2 and this element is popped out and the pointer now moves on to the next c okay the next c so next c is the elementary process is c again and the topmost element is b so several b's can, several c's can come here so what i'll do i'll take a self loop here and i will write the elementary process is c and the topmost element here is b so i will write b here and what do we do we have to pop it out okay so this b will again be popped out and the pointer will now move on to the next c okay now next c comes but this for the next c that this transition will not work why because here the topmost element is now a it was earlier b now it is a this time okay so for this one i'll take another move that is the element to process is now c okay and the topmost element is now a so i'll take a here and what do we do we have to pop this also out okay so this move will pop both the elements that is this will be popped out and the pointer will now move on to the next c next c again this move will be uh, used and this next a will also be popped out and this pointer will now move on to the epsilon that is the string has been ended now it is over now okay so from here i'll take another move for epsilon so what to do i'll take q3 here and let's make it as final state and come here with this one that is we have the elementary process is epsilon the top stack here element in stack is we have z not here what do we do we just have to bypass so i'll write z not here and we are done so this is for 
this very first case in this in which the value of m and n all are greater than 0 okay now come to this one the second case okay the second case we have a a c c now we don't have b in this one okay so what i'll do in this one so again now i'll just remove this one and i'll take another stack and another uh, input tape so we have input tape here in this input tape i will take the string as this one that is a a c c followed by epsilon and i'll make a stack here okay in stack what we have we have z naught here okay and the elementary process here is the first one that is a okay so what are we getting the first elementary process is a topmost element is z naught so what do we do in this one we have to push this element and for this c we have to pop this out okay so what do we do the element two process is a the topmost element in stack is z naught so we have a move for this one on q naught only so this move will be used and this a will be pushed into the stack okay and this pointer will now move on to the next a okay so now element two process is a and the topmost element is a so we have a move again for this one so this move will be used and the next a will also be pushed into the stack okay now this pointer will now move on to the C. Now for C what do we have to do? We simply have to pop the A's out. Okay. So what I will do now, uh, we don't have to go on to this one because here we have the elementary process is B. Now we don't have to consider this one. So what I will do from here to here, I will go to this one. Okay. That is the elementary process here is C. I will write it more clearly. The elementary process is C okay and the topmost element is a we have so i'll write a here and what do we do we simply have to pop this out so for with this move this a will be popped out and now we have reached on to state q2 okay and the pointer will now move on to the next c okay now next c elementary process is c topmost element stack is a so we have a move for this one that is elementary process is c the topmost element is a and what we have to do we have to pop this out this this move this transition will be used and this a will also be popped out from the stack and this pointer will move on to the next that is epsilon okay now here at q2 we have moved for epsilon that is z naught and we are done okay so we are done with this one so this also is accomplished okay now we will consider the third one that is this one that is m is equal to 0 and n is greater than 0. So again I will take a new input tape and I will take a new stack. Okay. So the new tape here is this one and in this one I will take a new string. So the new string here is b b c c. So I will take b b c c followed by epsilon and this is a new stack here. In stack what we have we have a z naught okay and the pointer is currently on the first b okay now the element process is b and the topmost element in stack is z naught and we are at q naught so at q naught we don't have a move for b we have for a okay so what we'll do from here i'll write a move for b that is the element process is b the topmost element in stack is z naught and what do we do we simply push it okay so this b will be pushed and this pointer will now move on to the next b okay now we are at q1 now and the element to process is b and the topmost element in stack is b so we have a move for this one that is this b also should be pushed into the stack stack so this move will be used and this b will be pushed and we'll move on to the next c now again we have this one here that is with C, the element of process is C and the topmost element in stack is B and what do we do? We simply have to pop this out. So for this, with this move, this B will be popped out and we'll move on to state Q2 now. Okay. So at Q2, this will move on to this C and now the element of process is C, topmost element in stack is B. So we have a move for this one also and with this move, this B will also be popped out and this pointer will now move on to the epsilon and from here onwards again I have a move for epsilon that is we, we, we reach on to the Q3 that is the final state. So this string is also accomplished. Okay. Now 
the last one that is m is equal to 0 n is equal to 0 that is in this case we are getting nothing in the string we are only getting the epsilon so what do we do we simply join this one and we'll take a move for epsilon comma z naught slash z naught that is we are at q naught at q naught the element to process is epsilon and the topmost element in stack is z naught and we are done reach on to the final state so I hope this is uh, clear to you. Uh, if there are any doubts, you can uh, write your doubts in the comment section. Thank you so much.